Hey yo, what's up my diggity dogs? My name here is Magardo, and guess what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to follow this trend that I keep seeing posted up on social media, also known as the Coronavirus Challenge. Let's fucking do it, everybody. This is just such a great idea. So if y'all don't know what the Coronavirus Challenge is, it's basically a challenge that you do where you go out in public and you decide to lick public things such as door handles, gas pumps, fucking toilet seats, and just many other objects that you would normally see out in public that a lot of people touch. So I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek that other people have posted up online revolving around the coronavirus challenge, and then, you know, well, uh, we'll, we'll get on with me doing it. I think y'all could use some tips. I'm skinny. I'm winning. And all you bitches are ugly. All the guys my phone are ugly and Oh yes, I love the way that this person licked this fucking doorknob. Holy shit, that is just fucking awesome. It's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. Oh my god, the way that this bitch licks this fucking toilet seat just arouses me. It just turns me on. I'm over here throbbing. My heart is beating fast as hell, and I gotta jump on this trend, and I gotta do this, man. This, this is the greatest fucking thing ever. I'm just kidding, y'all. If you think I'm gonna do the coronavirus challenge, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not fucking stupid like these people. I'm not out here seeking attention like these fucking people are. I. I I'm. I'm not. I don't want to do this. I'm not doing it. Okay. Licking doorknobs and public toilet seats and shit. That is really fucking stupid. That is like the the definition of dumbassery. People that do this are probably dumbasses and are just seeking attention. They're 15 seconds of fame on the internet. I don't know. Either way, these people are fucking stupid. Why would you go out and do a challenge like this? I bet these are the people that done the fucking Tide Pod challenge. Oh my god! Or the people that done that one challenge that i seen several years back where you literally set yourself on fire. Like, I mean, come on. Or what's that one challenge where people would get naked while it was winter, they'd go outside, and they'd lay down in the snow for a certain period of time and, like, make snow angels and shit just outside running around with their junk out. I don't remember what that challenge was called, but I remember seeing it on social media several different times and me thinking to myself, I would not do this. I, that is, I don't want my dick to shrivel up and fall off. And I guess that's kind of the way that I feel here. I'm not going to do this. I kind of feel like it's just something that gives people the idea that they're going to get their 15 seconds of fame on the internet and as a matter of fact the bitch that licked the toilet seat did I, I think she did indeed get her 15 seconds of fame on the internet because in some ways this post literally blew up on fucking tiktok i believe is what it was posted up on and honestly i i just find it to be so fucking stupid if you're really desperate for your 15 seconds of fame on the internet, and you're going to do it like this, like, come on, man, do something different. But people want to do these crazy things to get, you know, this, this attention. I guess they want to feel, you know, fulfill their, their loneliness, their inner loner fucking self-being. They want to fulfill that, and they want to feel like that people actually want to, you know, want to be friends with them or some shit, or actually want to be around them. I don't fucking know. These people are just dumbasses. Dumbasses. Just dumbass loners is what it seems like. I don't care that this bitch is, like, hot as hell. I don't give a shit about that. I guess I just feel like she's just desperate for her 15 seconds of fucking fame on the internet. I know she's hot as hell, and that already gets her enough fucking attention. But, I mean, as, as a matter of fucking fact, like, I'm going to post a video up licking a fucking toilet seat. The toilet seat one is the one that gets me even more, because apparently it was on a fucking public plane. She decided to lick a toilet seat on a fucking plane, man. What is wrong with people? And then that motherfucker that decided to lick the fucking doorknob. I don't know if that was necessarily out in public, but if it was, I'm sorry, dude, bro, whatever, whatever you want me to call you, you're fucking stupid as well. But sadly, people decide to do these challenges. I, I guess that they just want that attention. They want the 15 seconds of fame. And, and the funny thing about it is, is it's going to be ironic that if you do this and you decide to put it up on the internet, or if you do it in general, you you know, if, if you get coronavirus, that's all on you. And I'm probably going to make a video and just laugh at you. Laugh at either one of these people that decided to post these videos up. If I see another video of somebody doing the coronavirus challenge, and it turns out that they get coronavirus, I promise you, if I stumble across it, I will make a video, and I will just laugh at these people. I will fucking laugh at them with no remorse whatsoever. 
So, you know, that was just kind of my rant, my little short video, you know, whatever. If you guys want to leave some thoughts down in the comment section below involving the coronavirus challenge, that would be great. But anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Please smash like, stay fucking beautiful, and I will see you all in the next one.